Hello guys, GB here. Most times when gaming you will be needing the most performance out of your gaming rig and you do not want to be losing frames when your opponents are all on high-end hardware, and that's why I have made this video. In today's video, I will be showing you a method you must use to optimize your computer for better gaming experience. What competitive game is it you are playing? Fortnite, CSGO? Whatever it may be, this will boost your performance in gaming. Make sure you stick till the end of this video to not miss any important tips. Everything you will need is provided in the description below. Make sure you check it out. If you have any issues after this video drop a comment and see to joining our official Discord server. Link is all in the description. Without any further delay, let's get this video started shall we? A link to download this package is in the description below as I said before. Once you've downloaded the file, follow me as we extract it. This file has no restrictions or virus. All the files I provided are tested and virus free. Now we are going to install the software. Have it in mind that you do not need to pay for anything because this is a freeware provided by Winero. So consider subscribing to the channel for more free tutorials like this. Installing this software is very easy as other software as we usually install in other videos. After installation it's time to run the software and begin the optimization process. At this point if you are scared or afraid that anything might happen to your computer, pause this video right now and create the system restore point. Alright, let's continue shall we? As you can see these are my computer specifications, this will also show on any computer, including your Windows version. Now I will collapse all the submenu options so we can go step by step. Now we will start with appearance. Make sure you follow me carefully. I mistakenly activated Windows arrow. Avoid this option, especially if you run on a custom Windows. Just ignore because it is already optimized. As you can see this really made my Windows lag a lot. If you want to use dark theme, you should deselect all these options here. It is proven that dark theme saves battery and I can confirm that as a professional educated user of what? dark mode. RIP light theme what user. The Alright next make sure that you deselect the slow down animations option. This will really slow down your animations and reduce your productivity if you are someone who is very fast and works with a lot of tabs and shortcut keys like me. Now let's move on, just follow me we don't really have much to do in advanced settings. Please do not tamper with these settings if you don't know what you're doing. Now this is a very important step. This will stop all those annoying sleek ads on Windows. This really eats on your RAM and slows down the computer. Make sure to take all these options to disable all ads on Windows. Another thing that eats on your RAM is Windows error reporting, we have to disable it because it is useless. No matter what error you have on your computer, Microsoft is not ready to contact you or come to your house and fix your errors. So make sure you select this option to disable it, as well as Windows Update if you don't need it. Now we have to disable thumbnail cache. Why do we have to disable it? Please tell me. Because this will save many images and icons in different sizes into your RAM. This will really impact your performance, but trust me you won't really notice a difference in your day-to-day -day usage. Oh, thank you. Let's disable it. Now you must have heard of power throttling. 
or if not let me explain. To optimize the power usage on devices running on battery, Windows includes power throttling. It's a feature that has been designed to leverage the power saving capabilities found in many modern processors to limit resources for background processes efficiently while permitting them to continue to run using only a minimal amount of power. Meaning, if power throttling is activated, it will reduce performance. And if power throttling is deactivated, it will provide the maximum performance of your computer. So make sure you disable it. But laptop users should think twice before disabling this option. Now we are done with the behavior menu, let's move to the next one. Now I won't talk too much about this just follow me. Now make sure you don't use the action center before you disable it. Action Center is the tab which you get notifications and shortcuts to enable many features like battery saver, brightness and many more. All these options are optional, I just like the basic look of Windows. As you can see you can also reduce the quality of your wallpaper, but trust me if you don't pixel peep, you won't notice any changes. As we always say, anything for performance right? Yes I thought so. Now we have done all the most important settings for performance improvements. Anything you do other than this is just your personal preference, like me. I added the task manager and power plan options to my context menu because I use them often of the time. I also disabled the shortcut arrow on shortcuts so my desktop could look more clean and aesthetic. Now once we're done with all these settings we need to restart our computer so they can take effect. Alright guys I have restarted my computer and the only issue I have is that I mistakenly changed the arrow light settings which tampered with my color scheme. So I will just change them in settings. If you followed me carefully you should also notice a performance boost in your computer. Alright guys if this video was helpful to you don't forget to drop a like on this video so other people who need this video can find it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Also, if you still need more optimizations check out the PC optimizations playlist on the card as the right.